Hey everyone, by now you're comfortable adding and subtracting and you want to move on to multiplication and division. Great! Before we start, there's a concept I want to introduce you to. Doing multiplication and division, you need to know how many digits does a number have. Well, you count the digits to the left of the decimal point. So, for example, how many digits does 3 have? Just one digit. Seven, one digit. Eleven, two digits. Two digits to the left of the decimal point. Three digits. Three digits. Two digits. Five digits. Four digits. Four digits. Now, if you see decimal points, things work a little differently. You only count the numbers to the left of the decimal point. So let's look at these now. This number has zero digits. Zero digits to the left of the decimal point. Zero digits. Zero. Zero. I only care about the numbers to the left of the decimal point. Unless there's a zero. So if there's a zero to the right of the decimal point, that counts as minus one. So this number, point zero three six, has minus one digits. Minus three digits. Minus two digits. How about this one? Well, I only care about the one and the three. So this number has two digits three digits, one digit, minus two digits, oh. here we go, minus two digits and 0 0.0055. Now the reason we want to know that, I'll show you now, and don't worry, when we actually multiply and divide, we'll go nice and slow and I'll give you lots more examples. When we multiply though, we need to know how many digits total in each factor. So let's look at these. One digit there and one digit there means two digits total. Two digits total. Three digits total. Four digits total. Three digits total. Some more numbers. Five digits. Five digits. Six digits. Let's look at this now. This number has two digits, and this number has zero. So add them together and you've got two digits total. Three here and none there, three total. One there and minus one there, so no digits, zero digits total. Three here and minus one there, so two digits total. Uh, and division, on the other hand, we want to ask this question. We want to ask how many more digits in the dividend. So let us, let's look at some of those. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. One digit here and one digit here. So how many more digits in the dividend? None. Zero more digits. One here and one here. So zero more digits. Two here and one here. So there's one more digit in the dividend. Three here and one here. So there's two more digits in the dividend. Four here, two here. So there's two more digits. Um, 
Look at some weird ones now. Two digits in the dividend, three in the divisor. So how many more digits in the dividend? Minus one. There's minus one more digits here. Four digits here and one here. So that there's three more digits in the dividend. Three here and none here. Three more digits. One here, minus one here, so there's two more digits. Three here, and one here, two more digits. Four here, and minus two here, six more digits in the dividend. Now let's get started in our next video. We'll do lots of examples and you'll get used to using this. Thanks.